I'm Dr. Raphael Stricker. I'm a practicing physician in San Francisco. Uh, I have over 2,500 Lyme patients in my practice, and I've been a member of ILADS for 13 years, almost since the beginning. The Physician's Training Program is a program that allows physicians to learn about the diagnosis and treatment of Lyme disease by spending time with a practitioner who treats a lot of patients with Lyme disease. Um, it's uh, been sponsored by ILADS for a number of years uh, and uh, underwritten by um, the, um, well, it used to be the uh, Turn the Corner Foundation and now uh, supported by Igenix. Uh, really totally by accident. Uh, how did I get into treating Lyme? Uh, I was working on AIDS. I was doing a lot of AIDS work. Uh, and I was working with a uh, pathologist who had a laboratory that was doing AIDS testing. And we were looking at certain markers of the immune system and we happened to find a particular marker that was uh, uh, unusual and that was abnormal in patients with Lyme disease. And that got me interested, and that's how I started uh, treating Lyme patients. Oh, the challenges of treating Lyme disease. There are lots of them. Uh, there's certainly a lot of politics involved in Lyme. There's uh, a lot of resistance from the medical establishment, from the infectious disease establishment. Um, uh, there are uh, insurance company uh, issues that always come up uh, with uh, treatment. Uh, so there have been multiple issues uh, that are stumbling blocks in treating patients with Lyme disease. Oh gee, there, there's so many uh, stories of patient success. Uh, I just saw a patient, in fact, who I'd been treating for six years uh, with antibiotic therapy for Lyme disease and, and, and co-infections. Uh, after six years, uh, her testing was entirely negative and her symptoms had completely resolved and uh, she was essentially discharged from the practice, but again, it took six years of treatment to get her better. And I do see that quite a bit with my Lyme patients. You know, these patients will get better eventually, but it may take a long time to see that happen. The challenges in the future in treating tick-borne disease um, is first of all, di diagnosis. I think that uh, we still have a test system uh, in place that is inadequate for diagnosing Lyme disease. We need to get better testing and make people aware uh, that there is better testing in order to get diagnosed with the disease. Um, beyond that, the treatment is still challenging. We don't have very good studies showing the best treatment. A lot of the standard treatments will fail and we need to have better uh, treatment options. We need to have better antibiotics. We need to have better studies to show which treatments work. Uh, the training program is an opportunity to uh, get more physicians familiar with Lyme disease, to teach them how to diagnose the disease, and to teach them how to treat the disease. And that's a very important uh, thing because most physicians are unaware of the disease. I can't tell you how often I still hear that there's no Lyme disease in California. Uh, and it's really important to get physicians on board, to get them educated, and to get them capable of treating patients with Lyme disease. As I said, it's very important to get more doctors and healthcare providers familiar with the disease and capable of treating the disease because right now there's a huge shortage uh, in, in this country. The CDC just published several, several studies showing that the, the, the annual rate of Lyme disease is over 300,000 patients, so 10 times more than what was previously thought. With a huge epidemic like this, we need a lot more doctors who know how to diagnose and treat these patients. Well, it, it, it is very gratifying to teach other doctors about the disease, uh, to sort of open their eyes to what this disease is and what it can do to patients and their families, and also how they have the power to make these patients better and to treat them and to get them better. And that really is a, a huge 
eye-opener for many physicians when they realize that this is something treatable. I like to tell people that I'm a hematologist by training, so I uh, grew up treating patients with cancer and patients with AIDS, and all of those patients died. And here's a disease where if you actually treat the patients, they get better. So it's really fantastic when you realize that. Uh, what inspires me is the fact that there are patients who come in to see me who are very, very sick, whose lives have been severely impacted by this disease. And I know that if I do the treatment right and if I can figure out the right treatment, they will get better and they'll put their lives back together and they'll come in one day smiling and telling me how I saved their life. And that is very, very inspiring for any doctor. Well, again, I think we need more physicians who can treat Lyme disease. We just don't have enough of them. Uh, I have a waiting list of three to four months to see new patients. I think that's ridiculous. I think that if we had more physicians who knew how to diagnose and treat the disease, we could do a much better job of treating these patients. Well, I'm happy to hear that it is a transformative experience for doctors who take the training program. Uh, again, I think it's a very exciting uh, experience for many doctors. It's a very exciting experience for me to see a doctor uh, or healthcare provider whose eyes are open to this disease and who learn how to treat the disease. And um, I think it's transformative not just for the trainees, but also for the trainers. And uh, it's a wonderful experience to see.